folks, thanks Emil for joining us. My name is Renan Asuna. I had a chat with Saharu Yagi. Saharu is a Japanese born record producer, mixing engineer, and recording engineer who has worked with artists such as Sean Mayo, Lynn Biscuit, Draco Rosa, uh, Wycliffe Sheen, and many more. So come on and join us in this interview. Hey Sara, what's up bro? How are you doing mate? Uh, I want to ask you, how are you? How is it going there? And what's the current situation in Japan? Hey Hernan, how's everything going with you man? I'm doing well here in Japan. Uh, we are all right in the middle of a world pandemic right now. Here uh, things are restricted just like in other cities. Right now we are not able to get wasted in a local bar all night long, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but I guess at this moment the situation is not as bad as Los Angeles. 2020 was a strange year because of this corona situation. Despite this, artists and engineers have been working in remote recordings. Uh, what artists have you been working with during these strange times? Yeah, I've been dealing with a lot of remote projects since last March. One of the most interesting projects I worked on is for an incredibly talented young drummer, Yoyoka. She is just an 11 years old girl, but a really badass drummer. A couple of years ago, I was invited to Cindy Lauper's concert, and actually I saw Yoyoka playing the drums as a guest musician in the show. She was of course killing the stage. She does a lot of rock and roll stuff like The Foo, Led Zeppelin, Rage Against the Machine, Red Hot Chili Peppers, her videos are everywhere on YouTube. Anyways, the song I worked on for her is called Utopia. Uh, having Billy Sheehan playing the bass. Yeah, so it was so much fun mixing the truck and working on her project remotely. You won a Latin Grammy with Draco Rosa for the album Monte Sangrado and another one for the album Vida. Uh, what can you say about him as an artist and as a person? I've been working with Draco since 2010. So it's been more than a decade now, I guess. I always enjoy making music with him since he's a very authentic, genuine, and real artist. Even outside studios, he's a very creative and positive person. I'm very humbled to have had opportunities to make records with him and being awarded a Grammy and Latin Grammys. Draco always knows what exactly he wants in his music, but when he gets intuitive, spontaneous inspirations, you know, the ideas right in the middle of the production, he is not afraid of changing the plan. And in many cases, his intuitive ideas push his artistry to the next level. I've witnessed the moment so many times and I'm always learning a lot by being in the studio with him. You have worked with many international artists and have been in different countries. So I want to ask you about Ireland. Why is Dublin the hot spot in the music scene right now? I know that you are a huge fan of Fontaine's DC, an Irish post-punk uh, band from Dublin. Well, maybe it's because of the uniqueness of the city. Dublin is a very interesting place. Compared to other cities, Dublin is not quite big and not that populated, right? But it is known as a city of literature like Oscar Wilde, Bram Stoker, and music. Thin Lizzy, U2, Fountains DC. A couple of years ago, I saw their small gig at Gold Diggers in Los Angeles. The place was packed like hell. I would say that was one of the best shows I've seen in the last couple of years. I saw the massive energy coming out of the band and the audience shaking the floor. I really felt it. It was almost like seeing the Sex Pistols 1976 Manchester gig or something like that. That was the moment I felt like rock and roll, you know, post-punk is coming back in the scene. It seems there are a lot of rock bands coming up locally in Dublin right now, right? It would be great to fly there to check the local music scene after this pandemic gets contained. 
you're a goodwill ambassador of the city of Kitakyushu, Japan. Uh, what's your opinion about this pandemic and its relation to environmental issues? Well, the world is having a very hard time right now fighting against COVID-19, as everybody knows. Especially poorer regions are struggling more and are going through a lot of hardships. I hope in the end, the world will not lose sight of the concept sustainable development, which has to be long term and consistent. But at least the good news is the United States is rejoining the Paris Agreement again, finally. I hope you know, this will accelerate and amplify the movement of sustainable development. Let's keep fingers crossed.